Hi, so just at uh, the Peter Lockheed Hospital, driving here was a, a bit of a mess and parking here was a bit of a mess. Uh, but uh, just going in now for my pre-admission visit with the internal medicine doctors. I'll let you know how it goes. So I had lots of hospital and clinic visits uh, last couple of days. Um, got lots and lots of paperwork. I've got the liquid pre-op diet instructions, my post-op diet instructions, my what happens when I'm in the hospital and what I need to take instructions. Um, so lots and lots to, to read through. Um, looking through... Um, the, the pre-op which is the 100% um, liquid diet for two weeks um, so I need to go and buy that that's not going to be cheap I need to have five and a, four and a half bottles a day and they come in a pack of what, six and you're looking at $15 a, a pack that's still going to be still going to be expensive but that was expected that was expected when uh, when we were going through this um, I need to buy lots of vitamins for when I'm done. That's uh, that's an, an important thing to to do. Um, so I had my heart checked, my lungs checked, my blood pressure checked. Uh, I had so much blood taken. Um, they give me the instructions of what uh, medications I need to slow down or I need to stop before I go in, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. Got the green light to go, going ahead with it. So, ah, so this time next week I'll be starting the liquid diet. So come through with me for that. Uh, I understand that there's going to be some issues because the liquid diet would put me into ketosis which gives you really bad breath apparently, so not looking forward to that at all. Um, maybe that's when I should start working from home. So I'm going to be in overnight, um, then I'll, I'll take a week off and see how I, how I fare. So I was just thinking about my relationship with food and what it, what it is. It's, food for so long has been my, my comfort, my company and and my loneliness, it, it just, it, it, I used it to ease the loneliness. Sometimes the only person I would see during the day would be the skip the dishes driver. And uh, that's, that's not good. That didn't help me stick to, to my goals. Also working remotely and working camp did not help. And I think I, I turned a blind eye to just how how big I was getting and how unfit that made me. I mean, my my heart and my lungs have always been always been good. My blood pressure's always been good. But yeah, you know, I c couldn't walk up some stairs. I would avoid walking because it would puff me out so much. Um. So the the goals for me is I don't I'm coming up to retirement and I don't want to be in pain during my retirement I want I want an, a, a life full of adventure I want I don't want to be older and overweight it's you become so invisible as you age and I mean, you know, aging, being overweight and not looking attractive makes you completely invisible to the world. And, and I don't want that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that losing weight is going to make me visible. 
but it's gonna make me happier in my own skin. I'm I'm okay in my own skin. I'm I do my figure modeling. I, I sit naked in front of a room full of people while they paint me and I, so that doesn't bother me, but it's it's not being in pain. It's not my knees are hurting and my hips are hurting and I wanna be confident going into retirement age and older age. I, 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 it, it's, it's contrary because I don't feel not confident now, but I think it will help my, the way I think about myself. I I want I want that adventure to be the best adventure it can be. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, I don't really have much more to to add at this time. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at what I've got coming up. So I have I have to drink two point two liters of water. Um, oh, 2.2 litres of fluid every day. This is 2.2 litres. <laughs> so um, I have to have, drink this this much a day after surgery. And you think that my stomach is going to be the size of the size of an egg. So that that is going to be a challenge. So I need the Glucerna. Glu, Glucerna. 4.5 bottles every day. And then another litre of water. So this is all pre-op. Um, I can have... Uh, oh, so yeah, so I've got to go and see the doctor next week about changing up my medicine. And then afterwards, I have to take prenatal um, supplements uh, because it has the iron and it has the folate and it has the things that I'm going to be missing. I'm going to have to do my vitamin B12, my vitamin D... Um, yeah, and I'm going to have to have a, this is the first two weeks afterwards, I am going to have to drink and eat every single hour from 7am to 8pm. I have a list, I have it all broken down, exactly what I need to be doing. And then this is what I was given today, and it's... Uh, Having to stop my vitamins a week before. I have to stop my Azempic the weekend before. I have to bring down my um, Traceba, which is my uh, injectable daily injectable insulin. And I'm going to have to stop my um, Tavit insulin three days before. So yeah, there's... There's lots to do, so I'm going to take you shopping with me when it comes time to do the um, uh, vitamin and supplements and meal replacement, and uh, we'll uh, start that adventure together as well. Yeah, that's about it for today. I will see you next week. Take care.